Hello Simply Snuffers, thanks for joining me, thanks for tuning in again. I'm just going to re-record this video, I've just done it and forgot to turn the camera on, so... <laughs> Never mind, second time lucky. So, I get loads of questions from beginners, people wanting to get into snuff and asking me all sorts of questions. And actually somebody said, will you do, Simon, will you do a video, a beginner's guide to snuff? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, as I always say, uh, or I say quite often, um, I'm no expert. I don't purport to be an expert. I'm just a, a bloke who takes snuff. I've taken it for an awful long time, but I'm not an expert. So, you know, these are my views, my views alone. Um, so, beginner's guide. What we're going to do, first thing is to select your snuff. Loads of video reviews out there. It's not just me and mine. I've done loads of video. I, th I think I've done about 150 videos. Uh, but there's loads of other really good uh, snuff reviewers out there. Have a shop around. Have a look at what those guys think. Have a look at the snuffs they've been reviewing. You might get some ideas and some recommendations on the type of snuffs to uh, uh, to try. So do your homework. Sorry, I've got a few notes here. Um, try to go for something that's got a lower nicotine. Uh, try and keep away from uh, the dry uh, snuffs, the toasty, toasty type snuffs. Uh, the dry, bone dry, very fine grind snuffs, because if you're not careful, they're going to go straight up your nose, down the back of your throat, and you're going to get a drip, and that's not and that's not where you want to be, really. So, um, be careful what you're doing. Maybe, if you fancy menthol, fine, take a menthol, but try and get something that's lower. Uh, maybe try and get something that's a medium grind, medium moisture. Maybe, if you're wanting the menthol, a little bit of menthol. Maybe try something like a fruit snuff, a honey snuff, toffee snuff. Any of those, there's loads of them about. Look at the reviews and, uh, uh, you know, get, just get an idea of what you might fancy. The one I've got today is this one. I reviewed this just a short while ago. This is uh, Otto Snuff. It's Classic RM, which is raspberry menthol. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this is a snuff, uh, you know. It's just a suggestion. There's loads out there. As I say, do your homework. But this would be a nice one. It's got, uh, it's nicely packed. Smell it out the tin. It's, you know, you can see here, it's a medium grind, uh, it's a medium moisture, very simple to take. It's probably a good idea for a beginner. That'd be something I'd recommend in terms of snuff selection. Number two, technique. Again, I get loads of questions on technique. First thing is, get yourself a snuff hanky. Don't bother with toilet roll, bog roll, kitchen roll, bits of tissue, forget it. Get yourself a nice cotton, a nice cotton hanky nice and clean mrs m has washed this for me bit of an iron on it no starch get yourself a snuff hanky you don't need you don't need a snuff paddle i use this because you can see early i brottle around in the snuff when i'm reviewing them so you can see what they're all about so you don't necessarily need that and don't necessarily follow my lead you probably notice when i take them from the reviews i get you know people say Ooh. <laughs> don't be doing that that's not how to do it well maybe they're right maybe they're wrong who cares it's the way i take them but i'm not recommending that you do that certainly not to begin with what i'd say is probably take a pinch smell your snuff out the tin get an idea of what what, what, what you're getting what to expect take a little pinch don't take a lot hold it off the nose and there you go smell away see you still get the full effect. It's not going to go right down the back of your throat. Get it near the front of your nose. Get it near the front of your nose. And then you're going to avoid the dreaded drip. So don't follow my lead. Maybe I did a, um, I did a video on snuff techniques. But I think to start with. Uh, so yeah, have a look at that. Feel free. And if you want to try. There's loads of other methods you could try. But I think this is a good one for starters. It's the pinch. You can control how much you take in. Get it near the front of the nose and smell away. You know, remember, you don't try and run before you can walk. So take it easy. Uh, so technique, that's what I would say. Take it easy. Um, don't bother with the snuff paddle for now. Get a pinch, put it to your nose, hold it off, and uh, away you go. Smell it rather than <laughs> like I do. Maybe you'll get to that at some stage. I don't know. Uh, not many people do it like I do. So uh, anyway, third point, hygiene. Keep your nose clean. Get a hanky. Keep your nose clean. Blow it often. Blow it often. People say, how often should I blow my nose? Well, you know, I don't know. 
Keep it clean. You don't want any big black bogeys, tobacco bogeys up your nose, do you? Keep it clean. Give it a blow. You know when your nose needs blowing, so blow it. And as I say, don't use mucky bits of rag. Get a decent hanky. Keep your nose clean. If you're in the shower, nice hot shower, get your nose cleaned out. Get everything out. Clean it all out. Lovely bit of steam up there. You know, that, that's another way of doing it. Other way, if, if, if you know, keep hydrated. Keep hydrated. You know, if, if you're dehydrated, you're going to block your nose. You're going to block your sinuses. So keep hydrated. And if all of that's not working, then get yourself to the chemist to look online. There's things like uh, nasal saline solutions that you can clean your nose out with and help clean your sinuses out a little bit. So there's all different ways out there, but hygiene is really important. Keep your nose clean at all times. <sighs> yeah, cover that, Anna. Yeah, blow your nose. You're going to sneeze, remember. You're going to sneeze when you start. <laughs> that's a good way. <laughs> that's a good way. <laughs> cleaning your nose and getting it all out so hey welcome the sneezers it helps you clean your nose out uh how often i get people ask me how often should i be snuffing um uh, again how long's a piece of string take it when you want it sometimes i start in the morning uh other times i don't start until lunchtime sometimes i just take it in the evening i always like a snuff in the evening with a glass of beer and a glass of wine <laughs> and as you know i like a beer and i like a glass of wine <laughs> but take it when you want to take it it's not a competition you know we're not here to oh i've done one tin today i bet i'll do two tomorrow just it's here to be enjoyed take it easy take it when you want also depends on the type of snuff you're taking if you're taking a course you know an indian type snuff or a big menthol lots of eucalyptus some ammonia going on in there you probably want to want to do it as often this snuff i could take all day and and and, and easily easily rock on with that all day long this I don't know how much is in the tin. I'm guessing is a. I'm really. I'm guessing twenty grams. I'm guessing twenty grams in there. But whatever's in here, if I didn't take anything else, it probably last me a week or two. Of that, a week or two. So, uh, some people will take a lot more than that. Others will take less than that. Main thing is keep your nose clean at all times. Um, so that's it. Yeah, build up steadily is the other thing. When you're starting with snuff, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to get a nook nicotine rush if you're taking something that's got a high nicotine and you're not used to nicotine it's going to give you the old uh, you know wobbly head and that's not a great experience either so build up to things as i keep saying make sure you know uh, you're walking before you run that's the trick here just take it easy and build up to it gently don't rush into it it's here to be enjoyed and that brings me on to the final point and probably the most important point of the lot just enjoy it it's here to be enjoyed you know, there's not masses of us in this snuff community. There's a few more hipsters coming into it now, you know. These guys and they're keeping a tin of it in the waistcoat pocket and all of that. But actually, there's loads of snuffs out there. There's menthol snuffs, eucalyptus snuffs, medicated snuffs, chocolate snuffs, toffee snuffs, raspberry snuffs, apricot snuffs, CBD snuffs. I can go on. I could go on all day. Do your research. Going right back to the beginning of this video, do your research. And have a dig around and, and look at all the reviews. Not just me. There's plenty of great guys out there doing some really great reviews. Have a look at their videos as well and see what they suggest. Main thing is, you know, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to get a snuff. And you want to be able to get it up the nose. And you want to be able to sit back. Take it in. And enjoy it. And you want to be able to say, oh man, that is absolutely beautiful banging i'm loving it i'm really enjoying it that's what snuff taking is all about so i hope that's been of help thanks for watching thanks for your subs thanks for your likes Th thanks for your shares hey it's really appreciated and uh, most of all thanks for watching we'll see you next time keep well chin chin